CC. Be wise and reprioritize. Be wise and reprioritize. Presented by Niyama, representing the guiding force of nature and maturity. The structure of the foundation of modern man. The first seven years of our life we are in general at home and learning the very basic human adventure skills guided by our parents, such as sitting, crawling, walking, talking, eating, and various other social and coordination skills. During those first seven years, we are often in play schools and where the first steps to scholastic education are made. It becomes about counting and reading and writing and hopefully some sports and arts and crafts. We are now for a good period away from our parents and after some time, this pattern is accepted as normal. The next seven years are definitely about formal education, grades and diplomas. Here we are confronted with being smart or not, and being a good athlete or not, if we are pretty and handsome or not. And all this is connected to competing and comparing. Most energy and time we spend is with these matters. The next seven to 14 years, depending on our study direction, life is about education towards a profession and hopefully becoming successful, which means making plenty of money and being recognized. Somewhere during this time, it becomes about love and the perfect partner and slowly having our own family and home. How we go through these times. During the first seven years of our life, we pick up many behavior patterns from our parents and hopefully they were contented, respectful, well-behaved and living in harmony with themselves, each other and the world. This first picture is a dominant blueprint for the rest of our life. Then being around other educators, we pick up many behavior patterns from these educators and hopefully they were contented, respectful, well-behaved and living in harmony with themselves, others, and the world. In addition to our educators, we have as well all the behavior patterns of the other kids around us we pick up on. This second picture comes on top of the first dominant blueprint affecting us for the rest of our life. At play school, we will eventually cope to be aware, to be away from our parents by just being kept busy and being fulfilled by other things of which food starts to become and play a major role. Then our focus becomes about education, grades, diplomas, sports, music, arts, looking pretty and handsome. And when we are on the upside of, of this show, our self-esteem will be based on that for the rest of our life and having to stay up. But when we end up on the downside, downside, we will automatically have issues with our self-esteem. These self-esteem issues are connected to reward and compensation patterns, and we will be struggling with them for the rest of our life. How we behave, dress, and have the latest gadgets becomes a major issue in order to fit in or to be accepted. And this all goes together with numb and unconscious food habits, drinking, smoking, and even taking drugs, connected to reward and compensation, coping patterns. The picture of being or having to be successful, being accepted and recognized accelerates and becomes slowly but surely a rep race against the clock in order to get it all together and jeopardizing our state of well-being. We are finally having our profession, a partner, a home, a car, and possibly children. And we have made it. Life is all about the business and children, dealing with health issues and endless other problems, and continuing the rat race to have enough money or waiting for pension to get out of the rat, out of the stressful race, and hoping that life in the future will be great, calm, and peaceful. This is the story of many individuals on the planet and the story of a consumer society in which we consume everything, including ourselves. Quote, 
Whenever you find yourself on the side of the majority, it is time to pause and reflect. Mark Twain. End of quote. Where we ended up. In the meantime, we discover that we forgot to take care of, of the spiritual side of life. Trying to throw in here and there a visit to a place of worship, reading a book regarding spirituality, and often become a spiritual fanatic without really experiencing a spiritual life. The belief in faith may be there, but we lack in the practical application of the teachings. In the meantime, we try frantically to stay in shape or get out of shape, and now trying to find the time to go for fitness and stressing ourselves out again by racing against time or chasing a new or lost appearance image. In the meantime, we feel exhausted and stressed out and seek compensation and fulfillment through our conditioned food and other habits that are all very destructive and having to face endless health issues and are totally in the hands of others who need to take care of us. Quote, the more help a man has in his garden, the less it belongs to him. Thomas A. Edison. End of quote. Not only do we not know what to do when confronted with signs, symptoms and disease, but as well, when we seek a change of diet, it is who and what to believe. Our entire health and well-being has given in the hands of the modern food industry and healthcare practitioners and insurances. In the meantime, we struggle with time between home, school and work and with the most basic things of life, like proper and reflective communication, a constructive con a relationship and balanced business life. When we have children, it is there where the cycle starts again. We forget that our early created blueprints will follow us for the rest of our life until we make a real change. But until we as individuals maybe make that change, we keep waiting for that change to come by all kinds of ideas or waiting for others to make a change for us. Quote, you must be the change you wish to see in the world. Mahatma Gandhi. End of quote. We are probably living a numb life. And did we pay attention how the little signs and symptoms were giving us warnings along the way? And do and going for a little up and down excitement of the day through all kinds of means. Living with fear. Regarding many things and not looking forward to death because we have not lived a fulfilled life. We probably end up in our deadbed and talking out our life story in a couple of hours, which actually should last at least half of our lifetime, as the other time was spent in sleeping. Totally under the command of our sense organs, negative passions and the mind, we are lost in a foreign country without a proper manual. We are in a desperate need of a new foundation, and need to fill in the gaps with more constructive and positive things, things that help us as individuals and the world at large. Quote, insanity, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Albert Einstein, end of quote. Reprioritize. We need to get back to the real basics of life. An inheritance which still lays latent inside all of us, and which is the guidance of the Creator, Universe and Nature. We think that we had a structure, but it was a structure without any pillars drifting in any direction, directed by the mind, of which we also have no idea about how it functions. The creation is built with elements who are interconnected and inside everything, and there are rules and regulations within everything, and without understanding them, we pay tickets, but are not even seeing that, but act as victims of circumstances. There are laws connected to, dual to uh, duality, time, change, cycles. There is a reaction and chain reaction to each action, and the service and care of which we are familiar with goes much deeper than we think. 
we need to claim the inheritance of our parents by being around them and through the mind's capacity of conditioning through repetition relearning the very basic needs self-care home care and being on guard not to use the capacity of repetition to create negative habits turning into addictions we need to know how to play how to place our feet correctly how to proper breathe have a correct posture with what things we need to feed the body and knowing the difference between energy building foods and entertainment foods we need to know what to do when confronted with signs of imbalance and disease other than visiting visiting the healthcare practitioner we need to learn how to prepare our own meals clean and iron things that fill time in a positive way other than sitting idle around or escaping into tv and computer and last but not least knowing how to make god a consciousness in our life quote it is not enough to do your best you must know what to do and then do your best w edward deeming end of quote a new or additional foundation studying at the magical university of life located at the sacred Arfa archives could bring a new foundation with many strong pillars how to take care of you in every aspect of daily living how to deal differently with every challenging situation discovering a new life foundation and looking at life through different eyes integrating changes in every aspect of life and keeping the change going becoming familiar with the elements of creation and the indisputable laws and how and get an idea how they operate affect our mind body and life experiencing life from the level from our inner child which is full of zest learning to play all our different roles well like good actors do being a scientist of life and experimenting it in it with consciousness this is rediscovering our magical and mystical life adventure what do i need to do to support my new life foundation hopefully this was convincing enough to change that unstable stressful and self and planet destructive foundation in which we cannot find time and the right perspective and motivation to live a vital awake and aware life create a new foundation and then see how much you need to work in order to support that base and not losing that base while studying working and enjoying family and free time activities do not forget that the skills you adapt by creating this new foundation could be turned into profession that could help others and through which you can make your money such as self-care fitness food preparation cleaning and gardening are some of them quote the illiterate of the 21st century will not be those who cannot read and write but those who cannot learn unlearn and relearn alvin toffler end of quote as adults we have to go through the struggle by sticking with our old foundation or using the energy to build a new one and we can spare our children from a lot of struggle by assisting them to start their new life with this new foundation begin this magical and educational adventure today enter the magical university of life and meet your team of life coaches called the sacred council and who are the faculty members of that university.